Hello everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil and welcome back to another episode and today as you can see we're in the shed so I'm going to be doing some prepping today and I'm just going to keep it nice and simple I'm going to prep a DAC so this is a tenue costata nodule if you can see closely there's a little bit of ribbing just showing through there uh, this is a really classic nodule size and shape off the off the Yorkshire coast it's come out the grey shales um, so yeah I'm going to be using a few different pens today I'll talk uh, through the process while I'm prepping to keep it uh, you know, enjoyable I suppose I'll be talking about the different pens I've got from Zoic I've got the T-Rex, the Chicago and the Micro Raptor I believe I'll, I'll double check on that but I'll be using all three I'll be using the first pen to rough down I'll be using the second pen to you know clear out some of the matrix on top of the DAC and then I'll be using the Micro Raptor for the first time for the really fine detail work hopefully we'll get a real nice centre out of that today I'm looking forward to it using it for the first time uh, so yeah, let's crack on. So let's get this show on the road. Um, we've got the DAC nodule on the bench. I've got the T-Rex in my hand. And I've got the air pressure set to around 2.5, which is 36 PSI. Uh, at that sort of pressure, it packs a real good punch. Um, it's it's known as the pyrite destroyer it's got a bunch of interchangeable styles uh, it's really really good on air consumption i can't remember the exact numbers but it's absolutely brilliant on air consumption i hardly hear my compressor going off um, it's uk made so for anyone in the uk this is a really really good option the customer care is absolutely brilliant from zoic and i know the ship worldwide as well but you know come on it's uk made what more do you want so I've used the T-Rex now for maybe a year, something like that, and it's 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 just saved me so much time on you know some of the bigger projects where before my other pens were still really really good, but this just is the matrix remover. It it saves you so much time. It's it's definitely worth uh, the investment. As you can see, I've got a bit of a system going on with this DAC where I do some cross hatching and I come in from the sides and I'm really just trying to make a nice level uh, plane surface for when I move on to the next step. So this is literally just removing matrix. I'll get down to within uh, five, six mil of the ammonite or so, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. It's not an exact science. It's just to what you get comfortable with. Uh, so yeah, I'll remove a bit more matrix with the T-Rex and we'll move on to the next step soon.
So as you can see, we've moved on to the next pen, the next step. This is the Zoic Chicago. Uh, this is a bit more of a all-rounder pen. This can do everything. So this can do the matrix removal. It can prep down to the centers and stuff like this. Uh, it's basically the pen you want to get if you only want to buy one pen. So obviously the T-Rex the is, is a beast of its own, but this will do matrix removal. It'll just take you, you know, hell of a lot longer uh, so I really like the Chicago it's really really lightweight but it's still got a big kick to it uh, it comes with chisels or pointed styluses it's a really really fantastic all-rounder um, it's quite a low vibration it's a little bit noisy but it's an air pen so they're all gonna have a little bit of noise to them uh, it's not as noisy as other pens that's that's for sure uh, it's, it's got quite a good air consumption and again it's made by the same company i've used this pen a lot with some absolutely immense results it's really really one of my my top pens i use it all the time um yeah i can't really say anything else it's just a really really good pen the processes i'm taking here is a lot more uh, delicate so we've got down to the ammonite, we're revealing the shell, the ribs, etc, etc. Uh, I'm sort of working around the wells, I'm starting from the outside and working in. I try not to mix, uh, miss any of these steps because if you go to the centre and then you come back to the outer well and it can just get a bit messy. So if you watch the video, I will stick to the outer well and work all the way into the centre going either side of the of the well i'm sort of aiming for the root of the of the wells uh, that way you get a good bit of separation don't get me wrong some ammonites are super sticky and this just won't cut it uh, you really need different different processes of fossil prep uh, but that's for another video so yeah the zoic chicago um really really good gets into all the little nuts and crannies but up next is the Microraptor, and this will be the first time I'm using it, so very excited. So this is the, the Microraptor and the first thing I noticed when I took the rubber sleeve off was the really long stylus. I really like that. That's going to be absolutely brilliant for the deep centers and getting into further nuts and crannies and stuff like that. So straight away, I know this is uh, a finishing pen. This is really, really delicate work. It doesn't really remove matrix like the Chicago, the T-Rex or other pens. This is just for finishing fossils off. It's really, really precise. There's not a lot of oomph in it, but you don't want that for a finishing pen. This is really, really for precision work. Uh, the extra long stylus is already proven brilliant for me. The center's coming out absolutely beautiful on this. Uh, it's removing just tiny bits of matrix at a time, which is what you want for these centers because you only need to go in there heavy handed with another pen and it's buggered and there's no coming back from that so yeah the Microraptor is is very very good it's got some unique air cushion technology i'm not exactly sure what that means but it sounds good um it's uk made again by the same company so yeah brilliant precision it's really really light work it runs on the same sort of pressure as the chicago i think could be wrong on that double check uh, the noise is mm, it's quite high but it's it's no higher than anything anything else the uh, it's just like a trip to the dentist basically 
so yeah it's really really doing a good job of this center and in between some of the ribs and the wells it's getting them last little bits of sticky matrix out just how i hoped uh, it's meeting all my expectations and i'm super happy with this So now we're moving on to the matrix tidying up process of fossil prep. Uh, this really makes your fossils look stand out. This is just a cheap air grinder off Amazon uh, and I've got the decent diamond bears. You really want your matrix looking nice, flat and smooth. So take your time on this, make it look good. Uh, it's really important for RPE and air filtration. As you can see that big foil silver foil circle object at the bottom of the screen that's my air intake so that's connected to a motor fan uh, and all the dust and stuff is is taken away to uh, a filter bag sort of thing um, i've got my my mask on as well so it's just a bit of a double protection you can see all the dust is really sucking into that air intake but don't let that fool you, there is still some airborne particles that are manual, you can't see them, you don't know where they are, uh, and you don't want to be breathing them in, it's just really, really bad for your lungs. So if you're doing this regularly, make sure you've got your RPE on, highly recommend it. Um, I'll be using a few different bears, I've got the diamond bears and a few tungsten bears, uh, they all pretty much do the same thing, you, you use the bears and make your own judgement all available off Amazon and other uh, reputable online services, I suppose.
Right, so as you can see, the DAC is just about done. I've just give it a clean. You saw me through, uh, go through all the processes of fossil preparation. We started off with the T Rex to remove the matrix, and then we start. We went onto the Chicago to get down to the actual laminate, and then to finish it off, we used the uh, the Microraptor. Really, really impressed with that. The centers come out <laughs> absolutely perfect. Uh, the matrix is nice and smooth, the ammonite's looking lovely. So now what we're going to do is get rid of any dust. And then I put a post up before about this stuff, uh, a chemi polishing fluid. Uh, it's actually like a liquid wax. Really, really good stuff. I got it from uh, Zoic at the, at the Yorkshire Fossil Festival. I've used it a couple of times. And I'm really, really impressed with it. So there's no science to it. You literally, you can put this stuff on quite thick as well. There's no need to wipe any excess off. It all dries the same. And you can just instantly see the, um, the colours all pop. The natural colours of the, of the preservation. The trick is really to uh, get it in all the little nuts and crannies and we're trying not to get any on the matrix. Obviously I'm recording so I'm going to get some on the matrix aren't I but I used to be a, a decorator in a past life <laughs> so I've got quite good at cutting in over the years. I find it helpful to hold the ammonite the opposite way of, you know, so the liquid do not creep by gravity. It, it always wants to fall back on itself. And then that is pretty much done. So I thought it was a tenuous cost item, it's not, it's a semi silatum, which I'm happy with. And it's an absolutely beautiful specimen all the way down to the centre. I'll take some better pictures and uh, yeah, I'll show you very soon. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you, uh, if you want a fossil like this of your very own, don't forget to check out the yorkshirefossilhunter.co.uk or .com, I've got both. And my website's got loads of good stock on it, including ammonites just like this. So, yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.